Hi guys, welcome to Full Time Devils. Adam McCola here outside a sunny Old Trafford. Manchester United 2, Everton 1. Wait for it. Who are the scorers? Angel, Di Maria and Radamel Falcao. Say it again. Radamel Falcao got the winner for Manchester United. Angel, Di Maria opened the scoring. But what a day for the team. What a day. It wasn't the best performance. You know, I'm not going to go out here and say United blew them away and we played fantastic football because at times it was nervy. In the last 20 minutes, I genuinely thought Everton would score and they would equalise and we'd be leaving here gutted, but they didn't. And full credit to David De Gea, who not only saved the penalty, but saved our bacon and saved us two points. Um, but he was absolutely fantastic. He's playing behind a makeshift defence, a defence containing two academy players near the end there in Blackett and McNair containing two young players that have only just joined the team in Rojo and Shaw and he was absolute solid as a rock today. He made an error last week but you wouldn't think it in his performance and he is without doubt my man of the match but the performance all in all, first half performance, I keep finding it with Man United and it, it, it seems to be Di Maria more likely, he's making things tick for us, he's making them tick, um, he plays for generally 60, 70 minutes and he'll go quiet in the last 20. Um, he just burns himself out. And that's what's happening with Manchester United. We're playing excellently well in the first half and then up until 60 minute mark, we go a little bit quiet and we start sitting back. That happened. We took off Valencia, who I thought was a lot better in a diamond. Um, he played a lot better in the diamond. Suited him being more central than, than wide because he can't beat a man. He hasn't got any imagination. And unless the ball is 20 yards in front of him and he's running onto it, He's not beating a defender. So he looked better in that diamond, but I thought the football was better. Um, where, what was I saying? Daily Blind in that hole. He was at, without Ander Herrera and he was pulling the strings today. Rafael was one side of him. Luke Shaw was creating the space the other side of him. Maria making runs, Di Maria. And he was finding him and he was comfortable. Um, it was absolutely comfortable and, and he bust it. I was worried that maybe Barry could, could have him in the game or Lukaku could just drop deep, sit on him as a... Who was it for Leicester that did it? I don't know. But yeah, um, so I thought that would happen, but he didn't. And he controlled that first half. We deserved our lead. 1-0. In my opinion, it was never a penalty. From where I'm sitting behind the goal in the Stretford end, it was never a penalty. But I'm reliably informed it was a penalty. So I'll shut up. But 2-1. Um, I didn't think we were going to win. This time last season, we wouldn't have won. And we got the result. That's all that matters. Paddy McNair. Who, Gaz said Paddy McNair shouldn't play. Um, and fair enough, he said this, because Lukaku could have him. I thought that too. But did Lukaku play? I don't think he did. Did he play? He's saying he played. I don't remember seeing him. But um, yeah, United got the three points. I'm absolutely buzzing. It's West Brom and Chelsea next. And these two victories where we've grinded it out could give us confidence going into them games. International break now, unfortunately. The only good thing is it allows us to bring our players back and get them back to fitness. But would I replace Paddy McNair in that defence? No chance in hell. Anyway, get your comments in below. Make sure you subscribe to Full Time Devils. Like the video. Plenty more fan cams coming your way. I'm out of here.